is from from the the Department of Mechanical Engineering from SNS College of Engineering. Uh, from the previous lecture, uh, we have discussed about the TQM with the customer on the basis of customer focus, customer orientation, customer satisfaction, customer complaint, and the customer retention. Uh, we can able to classify the customer based on the quality, and also we can able to classify the product with the based on the customer requirement. Now, uh, the cost of the quality uh, through which the customer can able to give their own feedback and uh, their own factor which we need to be considered while choosing the quality's cost. Here comes the cost of quality on the basis of cost of good quality and cost of poor quality. In cost of good quality, the two aspects which we need to be considered is prevention and operational cost. And in the cost of poor quality, we can able to attain that uh, internal failure and external failure. Uh, which is nothing but uh, APQP and uh, FMEA. APQP is nothing but the advanced product quality production. Uh, FMEA is nothing but the failure mode and effective analysis. FTA is nothing but the frequent terminal assessment. Uh, the next one will be process capability, variation reduction, uh, lesson learned and educational training. These are the cost of quality through which the organization has to apply his own cost, apply its own cost to improve the quality of the product and to implement the cost factor in the quality uh, before the product leads to poor quality and also the appraisal cost. In appraisal cost which is nothing but the incoming inspection, in process, in process inspection, final inspection, calibration, auditing and registration cost. The two factors which we need to be considered the quality cost by attaining these two factors which is nothing but prevention appraisal cost. Well, while they are talking about the appraisal cost, the incoming inspection, in process inspection is nothing but the team through which the product quality can be addressed within the stage of shop floor itself. While talking about the incoming inspection, while talking about the in process inspection, the incoming inspection will be carried out by the lion quality inspector of the shop floor. And the in process inspection is nothing but the uh, if a product uh, has to be changed, if a product has a frequent uh, drawback in a frequent interval of time, we can be able to address by the production control manager, it seems. So, it will also helps to reduce the product quality, also helps to improve the product quality, reduce the loss of product quality. And the final inspection through which the product can be able to inspect in the proper manner on the all the aspects of the product application and the customer verification and the customer satisfied report and the customer required report through which we can be able to attend this process. And while discussing about the calibration, calibration is nothing but uh, the process of uh, process of uh, developing a standards or developing a process standard in a frequent interval of manner through which calibration can be able to attain. And uh, next one will be auditing. The auditing is nothing but the customer's audit through which we can be able to find the exact uh, loss in the product quality and the exact uh, expectation of the customer through auditing by the level 1, level 2, level 3 in this different aspect. The level 1 aspects will be the product audit can be done by the different, uh, different section of the production plan. The level 2 auditing will be the uh, the different aspect from the different quality team and the level 3 will be the auditing from the external customer end. So these are the process through which uh, the cost factor has the vital role of playing in quality. Registration cost. Registration cost refers to the if the process of the quality cannot be attained by using a certain system. So it can be developed by using this appraisal cost. While coming to the cost of poor quality, if your product quality is not attained as per the mark, certain cost has to be carried out by the organization which has nothing but uh, cost of poor quality. This can be attained, this can be determined using internal failure and external failure. In internal failure, which is nothing but the points uh, which is displayed in the slides, nothing but the process delay, rework, scrap, uh, retest and validation, AD, RC and the Kappa, 